guys welcome back to eco freak youtube channel this is the next video of parasitology video series that explain morphology symptoms treatment and control methods of protozoan and helmin parasites for more videos please subscribe my channel ichthyopidias multifilis they are holotricous ciliate holotricous ciliate means the entire surface area is covered with the cilia this is the scientific name and the common name is ick and they can cause the disease known as white spot disease why we are calling that as white spot disease here you can see the white spot on the fish because of that we can tell that this is as white spot disease so the clinical appearance is varying number of small round slightly raised white spots on the fish skin and the fins the here you can see white spots so all freshwater fishes are susceptible so the host is freshwater fishes because these ichthyopterias mm -hmm. can't infect the marine fishes they can infect only the freshwater fishes and they are ectoparasites that are attached to the skin epithelial layer of the fishes so i told you this ichthyopterias is especially a freshwater uh, fishes parasite but the cryptocarian irritants the species known as the cryptocarian irritants can infect the marine fishes and can cause the same disease in the marine fishes but this species is different here okay in the freshwater fishes the white spot disease is caused by the ichthyopterias multifilis but in the marine fishes the white spot disease is caused by the cryptocarian irritants in their life cycle there are three stages the feeding stage is known as the trophont or the trophozoite reproductive stage is known as the tomont or the tomites and the infective stage is known as the therons if we move to the life cycle here you can see the here these are the trophons trophons we can see in the skin and the fins of the fishes and this trophon can eat the cellular debris as well as the epithelial tissue of the fishes and they can reach to a certain size and they can come out from the epithelial tissue of the fishes then they can live as the tomon so these tomons are free swimming and after some time this tomon can attach to a surface of a fish tank normally these uh, trophons are released into the water of the fish tank so they can form into tomon they are ciliated and this tomon can attach to a, a surface of the fish tank and they can form a gelatinous structure a cyst wall around the tomon and they can form as the tomocyst encystation by encystation they can produce the tomocyst this tomocyst can do the mitotic cell division and can produce so many daughter cells so many daughter cells known as the therons and these therons going to come out from the tomocyst and they can infect the fishes so theron stage is the infective stage they can come out from the tomocyst and they can infect the fishes very easy life cycle so uh, the first is the trophon feeding stage after feeding they can reach to a certain size and they can uh, get out from the fish and they can develop as a tomon tomon going to develop as a tomocyst mm -hmm. tomocyst going for several mitotic cell divisions and can produce the therons so therons can get out from the cyst by rupture and these therons can infect the fish skin and the uh fins so they can cause the white spot disease this is the life cycle so what are the favorable conditions for this disease favorable conditions warm temperature like 24 to 27 degrees c this is the 
favorable temperature for the disease as well as overcrowding, poor water quality, and the excess feeding. So what are the symptoms? The main symptom is the white spots on their body. This is the main feature for the identification. White spots on the uh, fins and the skins. Anorexia, that means loss of appetite and refusing all foods. Rapid breathing, hiding abnormally, not schooling. That means they are not going to uh, make this schooling behavior and the resting on the bottom, flashing, rubbing and scratching against the object to remove the pathogen and upside down swimming. So these things are common for all ectoparasitic diseases in the fishes. But this is specific to Ichthyopterius multifilis. So for the diagnosis, we can uh, confirm this disease by looking at the microscopic examination. That means we can take the biopsy material from the skin or gills. Biopsy means tissues. We can get the tissues from the skin or the gills of the fissures and we can observe that under microscope and we can uh, confirm the disease as well as uh, we can do the necropsy finding but only for the dead fissures because the trophone stage we are going to and look for the trophon stage for the identification. But in the dead fissures, we can't see the trophon stage under microscope. For the identification of the disease in the dead fissures, we have to do the necropsy finding. We can dissect the fish and we can identify the disease. For the prevention and control, avoid any fluctuation in the temperature, pH and the ammonia level. Always we have to feed variety of foods and do not overstock the tanks and maintain excellent water quality will prevent the disease in the fishes. Mm -hmm.